Hello everyone! Have you heard that countries with higher ice cream sales win more Nobel Prizes? It sounds like eating more ice cream can make a country smarter, right? Well, not so fast. We've ventured into the realm of causal inference. Of course, the research isn't just about delicious ice cream. Determining how changing one variable affects another is a crucial task across various fields, from healthcare to economics helping professionals make more accurate and robust predictions and decisions. In the case of ice cream and Nobel Prizes, a hidden third factor, economic development, causes the fake correlation. Wealthy countries can afford more research, leading to Nobel Prizes and, of course, more ice cream. So, it's not the ice cream driving these Nobel Prizes, just a sweet coincidence. This is a typical example of confounding bias, where the economic development factor entangling ice cream and Nobel Prizes acts as a confounder. Controlling it reveals the true causal relationship. When some confounders are hidden, the complexity of causal relationships increases. It's like trying to solve a puzzle with missing pieces. This is where instrumental variables come into play. They act like secret agents, helping us isolate the true effect of interventions without the interference of hidden confounders. However, finding a valid instrumental variable is no easy task. The conditions required are very strict, posing a significant challenge in many studies. Today, we'll discuss our groundbreaking research using a new framework called Self-Distilled Disentangled Learning. This approach automatically separates instrumental variables, confounders, and adjustable variables. With the allure of ice cream and Nobel Prizes, let's delve into this fascinating topic and uncover the power of causal inference.